say Volusia County property appraiser says concerns about homeless people forced him to close his Daytona Beach office today. But that didn't stop a crowd from forming outside the building. The fallout comes after one of the workers at the Beach Street building says she was accosted on her way to work. News 6's Lauren Korn joins us with what's next for the workers and the homeless people. Lauren, what can you tell us? Well, it's just been a domino effect for the last month or so. Right now, it's the property appraisal office that's closed. You know, the workers there working out of DeLand or New Smyrna Beach, frustrating some residents here. But eventually, by the end of this week, we're told that the whole building will shut down, uh, you know, because the homeless, they're not leaving anytime soon until they have a place to go. Now I'm homeless, carless, dogless, moneyless. I have nothing. Rochelle Gantlett is just one of 120 homeless people who's been camping out at the Volusia County Administration Center for weeks. Officials saying it's become a safe place for them to congregate. Over time, people are coming out of the woods. They're coming out of back alleys. They're getting out of jail. Uh, they're getting out of uh, an unfortunate situation, and they're going there because they know they're either not going to get arrested and their services provided there. But the safe haven isn't safe for county employees. The property appraisal office closing its doors on Monday and relocating after police say a homeless man accosted a county employee. I don't have a problem with online, but I want it staffed where I can speak to somebody. I need a person in front of me, somebody who can answer questions for me. I don't want to deal with online. And Volusia County says the whole building will soon follow. That's the only thing closed right now. Everything else is being, he's trying to find a place for them to go. While county employees are shifting around, the issue on where to put the homeless remains. The county set, told the city, think of a short-term solution. That's why they started working on Salvation Army. So they're working on that. The second one was sign an agreement that says you'll guarantee safe harbor. Salvation Army spent the day giving out food and supplies and will be able to house 46 more people for the time being. But the county says it's waiting for the city to make the next move. As far as the county standpoint, I don't know what much, much more we can do. We've done everything that we've, you know, we've gone over and beyond what we originally said we'd do. So it's, you know, we're a stalemate. Now, again, the county says the city has until March 3rd to decide if they want to move forward with Safe Harbor. Now, the county says it'll pay $4 million for the building, the property. It'll be next to the jail. It'll have 250 beds. Um, but the city will have to come up with the money for the operational costs, and that's exactly what they're waiting on. Back to you. Lauren, thank you.